Welcome back to the tutorial. As you can see above, the sections correspond to the chapters down below. Feel free to skip forward to any part that you need help with. If you guys can, please like, subscribe, and follow my Twitch.tv channel. My name is Kyrios, and I will see you in the tutorial. Utilize the clock to its full potential. On matches where you are ahead on time, use the clock to fully heal your team before going into the next encounter. Use taunts and stuns to its full potential. When enemies start charging up abilities or inactive abilities, taunt or stun to cancel that ability. Team positioning does matter. It will affect the way the AI takes cover across the different maps. Generally, it's okay to put your tank in the two or three spot. Stop using DPS abilities as much as possible. When you are down to the last one or two enemies, just auto attack and save those abilities for the next wave. On the coattails of four, it is crucial that you go into boss encounters with as much BP as possible, ideally anywhere from seven to 10 and the right cards already assigned. The first couple seconds of any boss battle is going to make or break you. That brings us to the map portion of the guide. You will have two different teams, green being your primary team, red being your secondary team. Anytime a swap needs to occur, it'll be labeled in S with the team that initiates the swap. Now on this map, we have six encounters besides the boss, meaning that we can S rank all six encounters and not have to S rank the boss. Some of these encounters are difficult, but you'll need two very well geared teams. So let's go ahead and go over that. All right, that brings us to the team composition. For team one, your boss killing team, you're gonna be looking at, the team I brought in was Iori, Subaki, Nonomi, and Chise. Now, there's a couple replacements that you could put in here. Junko, Haruna, or Asuna. Now, I, I don't really suggest that you upgrade Hasu, Asuna unless that's really all you got and you really wanna push this content. Now, for the healers down below, we have Serena and Ayane. Now, both of these healers are very crucial. We need a single target healer and we need an AOE healer because the boss does a lot of AOE damage. All right, for team number two, you're going to want to bring in as much AOE as possible. You're going to want to bring Hane at least to get enough healing on your tank, Yuka. And then you're also going to want to bring in Serika. I think you're going to want to leave her there no matter what because she has a two cost card and it's going to allow you to cycle faster. Now, the replacements are above on the top of the screen. You have Hair, Hina, Kotama, Mashiro, and Mutsuki. Now, depending on who you have and who you've leveled, you're going to have to plug and play to your play style, but you're going to need a combination of single target and AoE damage. I'm using Taunt here early in order to get more heals because Iori took a little too much damage. Now that the board is clear, we're going to try and heal up as much as humanly possible. So we took a little too much damage here, so we're not going to be able to go into the boss fight fully stocked. It should be okay. We just got to play it wisely. We got some lucky double tabs from Iori to take out Haruna in the back. Stop that damage. Now it's very key that you take her out because if she gets her ability off, it's going to hurt a lot. From there, the boss has essentially two AOE moves. 
One is a wave and one is a AoE spirit bomb on the ground. You just need to out heal this. So focus on your healing. And then when new mobs come in, you want to focus on getting Chisei's ability out. And that's, that's pretty much it. You just want to cycle healing and Chisei. And every now and then mix in a little Yori. Remember earlier when I said team formation matters? That's the only way that you're going to get Chisei, Iori, and uh, Subaki to kind of stack together. You got to put them in the right order. All right, I want to draw attention to this bottom portion right here. Now, this is going to be a little tough. Going from a one star to a two star to a three star, essentially back to back to back. If you don't have the proper amount of AOE, it's going to be really tough to beat the timer. The other thing I'd like to say is that if you don't have Yuka the three star, you're going to be really hurting for trying to keep her alive. I'm going to showcase this uh, three star battle here and how fast I move through it and how many times... Just watch how many times that Yuka dodges and blocks attacks. As you can see, Yuka takes very little amount of healing. She is dodging a ton. She is blocking a ton. And then when she does finally go outside the cover, that's when you pop the shield on her. That three-star Yuka makes all the difference in the world. Now, you might be wondering why I'm using Aru to take out the backline instead of the actual elites. Well, that backline, the machine gun units, actually do more damage than elites do. So taking them out early is going to make it so you take less damage. Wave 3. Try to have Hibiki's ability up and running. A beautiful, beautiful stack for Hibiki. Popping Serika's ability outside of combat is going to make it so that you have better cards going into the next fight. Now, the only other hard fight here is at the top for your main team. You'll have to go against a three-star. It's actually not too bad if you're bringing a similar team like me and you have known me for doing AoE and Chisei. Um, I am going to fast forward it and just get to the end. I want to showcase just one move just to, to know it so we can show you what you're looking for when you're trying to do a taunt interrupt. All right, pause it right there. As you can see, this elite is starting to do a special ability. So I already had my taunt primed, ready to go, so I can interrupt this ability. Did I have to because we were already slapping it? Yeah, I didn't have to do that. Did I want to do it anyways? Yeah, we did it anyways.
All right, I want to thank everyone for hanging out. Thanks so much for being here. And uh, once again, like, subscribe, all that goodness. Follow me on social media. Follow me uh, everywhere you want to. Or uh, come join us on the Discord. I'll see you in the next video. Ha, 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 ha.